and a happy Friday to everybody. How are you all? I hope you're doing very well. Just my usual weekly little top ups on groceries and, you know, petrol and all those good things. Um, so the weekly stuffing. And then I want to show you my bullet journal and a couple of things that I am sort of doing in there. I've got my treats and treasure jar ready for the change. And I'm going to be doing my first ever savings challenge stuffing of um, the uh, stuffers. Because <laughs> clearly I haven't had enough coffee yet to be able to say what it is that I'm trying to say. So without further ado, let me clear a little bit of space so we can see exactly what we are going to be stuffing into our envelopes today. So in terms of what I'm going to be stuffing in the cash envelope, uh, or sorry, the savings challenges, apologies folks, again, not enough coffee. Um, there's this money here and we'll get that counted out in a second. There should be £300, but we'll, we'll do a proper wee count when we come to it. And then in groceries, there'll be £60. 20, 40, oh no, hang on, that's, those are 10s, oh, 10, 20, hang on, what's that, 20, 40, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 90. petrol, we've got no money in, but we think we've got enough anyway, gas top up, I am going to put another 50 pounds across, and I think that's all I have in there, it is, so let's put that in, fun money, I don't think I need that, unplanned, I don't think I need that, um, but I'm going to need one of the other ones and back to bank I'm going to use as part. I've done um, a reconciliation already of what I um, I need for the remainder of the month in terms of bills that are coming out and various things that I need to pay for. So um, I think I should be OK to use this back to bank money for some of the savings challenges. So we're going to pop that all in. Oh, the other thing is, so my Norton Deluxe 360 do what's it, you know, antivirus thing for my personal computers or me and my mum, I pay for. Um, my renewal price was £85.99, right? I thought I'd be cheeky and go on to their live chat and see if I could get it. Either get them to reduce the price or add in some of the other things like anti-track and all that stuff. You know, They're basically trying to um, take out all the things that used to be free or you got a free trial on. They're now trying to charge you separate subscriptions for those, a little bit cheeky, whilst charging you, you know, the full amount for just the basic you know, protections. So I went on the live chat and I says, look, can I please ask if you can reduce the price of my existing subscription or if you could add in an, another, an additional subscription for the same price? So they came back anyway and says, yes, we can see that you're being charged £85 for your next renewal, automatic renewal, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the best offer we can come back to is £35. 30, 50 quid saving, less than half price. So, of course, I snapped that up. Um, so, there you go. Now, it's only for one year, but clearly next year I'll go back and do the same thing again and see if they can, you know, keep it going down as well. So, always, always pays to haggle a little bit, doesn't it? Anyway, where are we? So, yes, yeah, so I've got two. Uh, well, I'm supposed to have £2.50 from a back to bank. Hang on a minute. Am I, am I losing a pound somewhere? Do you know what? I'm going to say this. That's the second pound that I've lost. There is a pound thief in my house. There's only me and the dog um, at the moment. Why have I only got... It was supposed to be £67, 50p, and now I've only got £61. Anyway, who knows? Anyway, so there you go. It'll be somewhere about. Or what I've done is I've probably put... Um, I probably swapped out for change and I haven't put this, the pound back in. Anyway, neither here nor there. Right, so there's £10 coming out of groceries for this week. So that'll go in there. And there's a little bit of change. Ooh, 
more change. Now, I was a little bit naughty this week. I did steal Peter to pay Paul in terms of some of the, um, my groceries and whatever. I went a wee bit silly. Uh, had a couple of wee greedy moments. £25 is still in there. Petrol, that's being kept in there. That'll do me the rest of the month. Uh, in my fun money, my money without the fun, because I messed up. Uh, I think there, oh, hang on, there's a card in there. There is 50 pounds. I'm not going to need 50 pounds, so I'm going to take 30 pounds of that out because I'm actually going to the beauticians. Keep 20 quid in there. Uh, I'm going to the beauticians on Saturday to get my nails done and a couple of other wee things. I did put top up here. The gas is going down at a rate of knots at the moment absolutely chunking it um so i've got 50 quid there to put back in there but the, it's for you can only top up on the card 49 pounds so that's why there's a pound left over household i've got 10 in there and i'll just keep 10 in there and then windows again i've got six pounds for this month and then there'll be four pounds which I'll add next month, I'll add a fiver and blah, blah, blah. I'm not worried about that. Then family, this is where I was a bit cheeky and I used a wee bit of money. So I've only got two quid and a bit of change left on that. So that's those unstuffed. So we've got four pounds, 50, 60, seven, four pounds, 67. So first things first, I'm going to put my treats and treasure jar. Let me just pop things out of the way. So we've got the treats, which is for my you know, copper and silver and treasure, which is for my one pounds and two pounds. So that's what we're gonna be adding into these two jars. Oh, I've got them in the two wrong hands, hang on. Right, so treats. That's money that goes in there. Done and treasure gets the four pounds and that goes in there as well. Do you know I'm gonna be so glad when I'm not hitting glass when I put change in. That's gonna be the big the next sort of milestone with my treats and treasure jars is when there's enough on the bottom so that it's coins hitting coins when you pop them in. So I'm just gonna move this out of the way so we get a little bit more room. But they're perhaps like, that's coming on really nicely, actually. Okay, so save the bees, I think is where my, right, that's my beauty one. So I wanna see how much I've got in there because I'm gonna need 20, 40, 60, 80. Oh, do you know what? I've got enough in there, I think for Saturday. So, and I'm going to the dentist. I cannot get appointment for my existing dentist. So I'm going to a private dentist um, next week, which I have already paid 30 pounds. Actually, have I got a dental one in here yet? I don't think I have a dentist one yet in my um, savings thingy majiggers. So I am... I am going to create a dentist one because that's going to be a bit of a thing, but that may may have to just stay in my bank and then any extra money that I have from various stuffings may go towards it, but I'm going to get my teeth done finally. I have um, some very weakened molars. I don't know, guys, anybody in the UK that was sort of born in the 70s, and um, maybe even the 80s, but mainly the 70s, where you were in the sort of early 80s by the time, um, anyway, my, in the early 80s, let's say, I had a dentist and he used to literally fill everybody's teeth. Like he would send you around to the local clinic where they would pull out about four teeth and then they would fill the rest of them. So I have really weak teeth from those years. Um, and I've got a couple of molars that are fractured now. And like, I just, I'm at the stage now where, you know, when you go to the dentist and they do the count of your teeth and it's like eight, seven DO, six MO, five missing, four, three, two, one DO, blah, 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 blah. And you go around and it's like, there's barely a tooth in your head 
that hasn't got something, you know, some sort of filling against it. Anyway, I am mortified every time I go to the dentist. So that's me. So I'm trying to get my teeth fixed. And I, I want a nice smile. So I want to try and get a couple of maybe veneers to straighten up a couple of the front ones. I used to have braces and everything, but um, yeah. Okay, so I think I've done all that in there. Right, so let's stuff for the week. So groceries is getting 60, as we know. 20, 40, 50, 60. Into groceries. I'm gonna just pop it in like that for now. It's easier to close. Petrol's already got 25 in there. Fun money, I'm keeping the 20 in there. Gas, I'm going to put in 50. So that's 20, 40, and 50. And that keeps that right because... Now, it may not get used this week, but it'll probably get used next week. I'm actually counting um, in, my <clears throat> in my finance journal. I'm counting... Um, let's see, where is it? That's what I meant to do. Hang on, I need a pencil. I need a pencil. Do -da. Right, so here, I did it yesterday and gas was down to 59 and then I topped it up. So then it went to 143. Right, so then I, I'm trying to do weekly what the counts are um, for everything. Uh, most of my direct debits have now been all paid. So I've only got my Virgin credit card and I've made the overpayment already this month on that, but that's the regular one. And so my payment plan for it is basically, um, these are the regular payments and then these are the overpayments so that it basically clears by the end of the 0% uh, period, which is 24th of October. So that's my little plan to get that paid off to zero, which is on track and so that's that in there anyway i'm using the clever Fro Fo clever fox pro i think i've filled everything in there that i need to yes so anyway um that's that done right okay so that's that done now we are on to where are we now so now we're going to count see how much money we've got left 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 4, 10, 20. 420. So one of the other things I did this month as well. So this is my bullet journal. Natalie's journal and I love a little bit of collage because I can't draw for toffee so I thought I'd just rip pages out and washi tape and whatever I don't think I've got anything right so I still haven't filled in my, my full um grid reference but I started doing some doodling look I has doodled again can't draw for toffee so if you doodle I think you can't make a mistake just keep drawing lines so I just started doing that uh, then I've got a future log. So I've done the first six months and then I've got the second six months to you know, pen out. Then, because, you know, everybody loves to do a social media thing. And um, so this is where I started January on 850, 90 followers on Instagram and four, an entire viral sensation I am on TikTok on there. And then <clears throat> again, so I've got it for the rest of the month. And then this was just some me just mucking about doing some um, hashtags that I need for various things. Right. So here we go. So I did a TikTok video. And I think it's on Instagram as well, where I've built a house with 65 different sections. So each one of these ones, you know, that counts as one. So it's like you know, one block. And then each of those is one and each of one of those is one. And then each one of those is one. These little trims are just decoration. They don't count. So um, the start of January, I owed, wasn't quite 65,000. It was just a little bit less, but let's just, I rounded it up, 65,000. So I made an overpayment, which brought my balance down to 64. So I've filled in and colored in, oh, I've got a rag nail. Um, 
one block because now my balance is 64. So basically when this house, and it's not going to be this year, it's not going to be in this bullet, so I'll have to sort of transfer it. Um, when this house is coloured in, I will be mortgage free on there. And then this one here is not, I don't have any side hustles really. I do um, Prolific Academy. So maybe you earn you know, 25p a day or whatever. Um, so, but I've made a little sort of side hustle thing because I'm, I'm already up to about 35 pounds in Prolific. So, you know, that'll obviously, each one of those little squares is going to be 30 or going to be five pounds. So, you know, maybe be about, it might even be up to 40 by the end of the month. So I'll be able to do like a little bar chart kind of thing. I think that's all I've done in there. But yeah, my big, big moment was to fill in a one bar in the house. So that's just that. And that notebook is from Notebook Therapy, which I adore. I love that. It's like a linen-y, beautiful emerald green. Anyway, so I wanted to show you that. So now we've got 420. So what I was thinking of doing is making a start on some of these 10,000 pound challenge. Now I did have, remember on the last video, I was showing you the little envelopes. Well, I don't know where my little envelopes are. What have I done with my envelopes? Because I'll be able to put more money into an envelope than I would be into each one of these little individual things. So give me two seconds. Yes, clearly I am professionally prepared for this video. And I have everything to hand, not did I put my little envelope? They're probably, oh, here they are, they are there. Right, there they are there. Apologies for that interlude. Right, so these are just a few of things. So I've got a hundred envelopes, right? And then, oops, put that away. So I've got a hundred envelopes and I have a little sheet with a hundred sections and each section has a different amount, right? And if I fill in all of those, I will have 10,000. So what I'm going to do is, I'm basically gonna shuffle or at least, you know, whatever, pull it out, find out what the amount is and then stuff it until I've stuffed the 420. And I probably won't get, well, I'll probably get 400 stuffed because that's an even number. And then I'll put 20 back into my beauty because, you know, I need all the help I can get in there. Okay, so let me just undo these. Talk amongst yourselves for a moment. Oops. Right. So, no idea. I know people do this and it's so professional. It looks so pretty and whatever. Not a clue what I'm doing here. So, let's go for the first one, okay? So, I, I, I am literally, I know you can't see it off screen, but I'm literally closing my eyes, right? So, I'm just going to pick a number. What number is that? 25, right? So, now I go down. 25 is 150, Right, 150, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 50, right? Hundred and fifty, let me double check. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one, twenty, forty, and put them up nicely that way. And let the OCD kick in and make them all pretty, pretty. Right. So I don't know how this is going to work, but we're going to try it. Yes, I did just lick the envelope because I'm a dirty beast. Um, and then I have from Budgets, Budget With Us UK, uh, who I bought this little system from, uh, supplied me with some lovely washi, which I am going to washiness the envelope. But I never get it going. It's probably about enough. Okay. That one's there, right? And then in theory, that should fit. 
into my envelope. Oh, it does. Oh, it does. I'm so beautiful. Okay, so go back to 25. Oh, no, I'll put it at the back. I'll just put it at the back like that. Right. So, and then I've got to mark it off. That was 25, number 25. 150. That's that done. Right, let's go again. And hopefully we can get some of this done. So again, I am literally closing my eyes because I don't know what to be at. Four. Four. Oh, four is 200. Oh, for a flip stick, I might not even have 200. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 80. Two. Right, how much have we got left? 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. Okay, so I can do one more 50 left, which I'm probably going to have to just do. So number four is 200. I think 200 is about the max. And what's the maximum number I have on there in terms of... Yeah, 200 is the maximum. So that's the maximum that I'm ever going to put into an envelope anyway. Okay. And then I shall wash you that down this time with green. I dream of dreamy with a light brown hair. Talk amongst yourselves. Right, so number four gets the 200. That gets popped in at the back. And we get number four marked off. And then we've got a 50 pound one. Let's see if I can be really lucky. And I am literally closing my eyes again because, you know, got to keep the magic going. Number 44. 44. Oh, it's 100. I don't have 100. So bugger that, Natalie. Right, put that back in. I know I've got, I know I've got a, a raft of 50s at the end. So I'm going to go towards the end and get a number out here. 60. Number 60. It's 50 quid. Oh, look at that. I did that. Look, 60 quid. I definitely got 100 in there. Right, okay, 60 quid is, or six, number 60, let me double check, is 50 quid. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50. Right, do you know what? Because it's quite bulky, I am going to swap out a couple of 20s. 10, 20, 40. Okay, and then I'll take 5, 10, 15. No, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40. And that leaves 50 into there, and then that goes back into there for that. Right. I'm probably doing this off camera, but I was just basically swapping out so I could get some lower no notes, uh, smaller number of notes into the envelopes. So that's that. That's that done. Right. So 50 quid. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Into the envelope. I just realised um, these envelopes are a little bit pre-sticky, if you know what I mean, so you don't actually need to lick them. Okay, so I'll use pink again. And 60 goes into the back. And then number 60. There we go. So only 97 envelopes to go to £10,000. 
That goes back in there. Put those at the back there. Pop that in there. That will be that in there. So there we go. We've added three envelopes this morning. We've stuffed our weeklies. I have £20 left over, so I'm going to put that £20 into... Um, it's not in there. I will get used to which envelopes or which binder has which envelopes or yeah, that's the thing. Right, so put that, that's 120 now in there. Let's just double check. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 120. It won't cost 120 on Saturday, but it'll go towards it or it'll go towards, you know, um, building it up in there anyway. So that is where I am. And just a reminder, uh, notebook therapy, I love these binders. Um, and I've used some of their beautiful washi tape as well. Look at that. Look at all that beautiful washi tape. And actually, I want to show you this because I didn't realise this, you know, being an Egypt. So if I can get it going. Right. So this is individual like little stamps. So you can actually sort of, you know, they're perforated. So you can actually just pull off one little stamp at a time. But this one here, I did not realize is each of those, look, I've already taken one off, is an individual little circle that you can, you know, you can take off. You can actually just see, you can take the circle off. Isn't that cool? I thought it was just circular, you know, patterned washi tape, but it's not. Those are actual little individual buttons, um, as it were. So isn't that cool? Notebook therapy. And uh, by the way, um, worldwide, not that I'm a sponsor or anything of them. I wish I was because I would like to have one of everything in their shop. Um, but they have uh, what was I going to say there? Worldwide free shipping. That's what I'm trying to say. So whatever the cost is at the end of, you know, you're in your basket, that's what you're going to pay, which is great because then you know what you're paying rather than, you know, um, like, for example, I have an Archer and Olive subscription uh, to their notebooks for bullet journals, but it's extortionate in terms of shipping prices and, the, you know, the, the you then pay the 20% on top of that as well for um, uh, for customs, you know, VAT and all that. But with this, you know what you're paying for, which is great. But I did get one of the lucky dips from, I did get one of the lucky dips from, uh, our lucky uh, bags from Notebook Therapy. And inside it was this, look at this. I love this. It's a pencil case. So you can basically, you know, zip it up. I know there's, uh, there's too much in there for me at the moment. Um, but when you're then, want, you know, let's say it's zipped up, then you unzip it, right? So you unzip it. And then you pull it down and then you've got access to your pencil case top, you know, the pens in the top. Genius idea. Absolutely genius. I'm, and I need another one now because I've obviously overstuffed this one. But anyway, that's just a little bit of extra stuff at the end. This is only supposed to be a stuffing um, video. Talk to you all next time. Hopefully I'll have lovely manicured French polished nails as well to show off. Take care, everybody. Bye.